Hi right, guys, welcome back to FYP TV. My name is Brett. I run a channel called 2FC. Please check it out in the description. I am aiming for 500 subscribers by Christmas, so it's only a couple of weeks. But 115, that's all I need, 115 people. And I also want to say congratulations to this channel. We've hit 1,000 subscribers. Thank you all so, so much. Now let's get into it. We beat Watford at home with two goals in the last four minutes of the game. <laughs> Watford just don't like playing us. They don't like us. They don't like Zaha. Do, do we care? No. Does Zaha care? No. We needed these three points. We really did. It was a really scrappy game in the second half. Actually, we felt like the whole game was very scrappy. Um, we were lucky not to be behind by more at points, but with some really good defending, um, some luck, <clears throat> and some decent goalkeeping. We kept it at 1-0 from, from the second minute to the 88th. So, well done, boys. Uh, Benteke looked like he was trying to make a point. Um, he was chasing balls down where he normally probably wouldn't. He was trying to get back in our good books. He was trying to show us fans that he knew Saturday was a complete mistake. And you've got to give him credit for that. Yes, he didn't score, but when, when the ball was coming towards him, He'd always win the headers like from coming out from defence, so that's a usual thing. We just need to start finding him in the box, which I know it's hard when he's normally got two, three defenders around him, but we'll see. Next few weeks, he will start scoring again. Mark my words. Um, get into it. Yanmat with the first goal. Um, Really poor defending from us. Kabaya and Andros Townsend were in the middle of the box. And they were waiting for each other to kick the ball out. Ends up coming out to Richarlison, I think, who crosses the ball. And Yanmat with an absolute bullet of a header. Second minute and we're already 1-0 down. Typical pass. <laughs> um... Richarlison almost scored from a Jan Mack cross, which was in the second half. Um, but Speroni makes a really good save. Troy Deeney. How unlucky was he? How lucky were we? Um, cross comes in from the left. I'm guessing it was Richarlison. Oh, yeah, it was Richarlison. It was from um, Kabai making an absolute shocking mistake. In the middle of the park, Richarlison gets the ball, runs out to the left, crosses it. And the replays show that Scott Dan got the slightest, slightest of touches on that ball before it got to Deeney, who's just behind him. Deeney was thrown off, kicks it really badly wide. Whew. Thank you, Scotty Dan. Thank you. Um, we had a couple of decent attempts in the first half. Nothing really to write home about. Um... The main one was just before half time, about 41st, 42nd minute. Um, we had a free kick from the left. Kabai took it and Luca flicked it on um, near post. Uh, I think it come off of, uh, I think Gomez saved it or if it come off the defender, but it went out for a corner, it's come to nothing. But it was a nice, nice um, free kick manoeuvre. Uh, the, the second, like I said, it was very scrappy game. Um, cleverly ends up getting sent off um, for a second yellow card. He knew as soon as he took Schlup down, that's his second yellow. He knew he was going, but he probably thought the way they were playing, Watford could hold on until <laughs> Wilf uh, gets on the left hand side of the box. Cuts in on his right as a shot. Very, very central. But Gomez, he saves it, but parries it straight into Bakary Sacco's feet. Who shoots. And then Gomez makes another really good save, but comes straight back 
to Sacco again. And it kind of just bounces off him and goes in. But we need that bit of luck. To be fair, we need that bit of luck when when we're playing as badly like we did in that game. Um, and then a couple of minutes later, like four minutes later, Wilf again with some outstanding trickery. Uh, step over after step over. Mugs two defenders off. Slots it towards the penalty uh, penalty spot where Jimmy Mack was standing who touches it with his left foot bottom right hand corner and I went nuts <laughs> uh, yeah I went nuts I was at work <laughs> I just went <laughs> we uh, we didn't deserve that win but we didn't deserve the win against Stoke so I think we should just carry on playing poorly because um, we seem to get results when we play poorly. Actually, no, let's not. Let's try and play well and win them well. <laughs> um, Leicester away Saturday. Early kickoff on TV. <clears throat> I don't know. I want to say that we're going to get at least a point. But who knows? Leicester on their day can beat anyone as we saw a couple of years ago. Um, and on our day, we can beat anyone, as we've seen in the past five seasons. Um, but I'm going to go with a, a two-all draw. That's my prediction now. Two-two draw. And hopefully, hopefully I'm right. Oh, hopefully I'm wrong and we win 5 nil. but I'd rather take a point than nothing. Um... As always, guys, please like, share, and subscribe. Subscribe to this channel. Subscribe to myself. And as always, come on, you palace.